What is up besties and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a pop-up weekend video. If you are watching this in the future, you might want to click on a timestamp that gets to the reading, but I'm going to do my own little PSA like I usually do. This is me testing my energy because I'm thinking about not doing a video on Monday so that I can start with the client readings as soon as possible. But also, um, we just need to acknowledge that I don't, I don't think I'm going to be doing politics videos again. Um, the comments did not pass the vibe check at all. Um, I got called names from both sides. I, I got the blue team being mad at me. I got the red team being mad at me. And, you know, if we can't have healthy discussions and, you know, there's a, I don't know if y'all have it anymore, but there was a class called civics class back in my day where we had to debate really hard topics. Like we'd have to go in front of people and argue about whether or not we're pro-life and blah, 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 blah. And guess what? We shook hands at the end and we moved on. I don't care who you vote for. If you think that Kamala is your lesser of two evils, bestie, I support that. I support you. I don't have a favorite. I think the whole system's fucked up. <laughs> like, so that was just really a bummer. So, you know, when whoever wins, even if, you know, I predicted it wrong, I don't see me doing another politics video because until people can, you know, agree to disagree respectfully... Mm -mm. That just did it. That was such a disappointment. I'm very disappointed. Uh, maybe it was the, maybe it was newer people that don't know better. But on this channel, we don't do name calling. On this channel, we're respectful of one another and our rights to have differing opinions. And since everybody cares, I'm not a diehard Trump fan. I am in the same boat as you. This place sucks. It's a disaster. Okay. It's a shit show. I don't think that any one person can save it. In fact, I believe that we, the people are going to be what saves this planet. But that being said, y'all should know what the title is by now. I want to take a look at, I mentioned this before, what is schizophrenia from a spiritual perspective? That being said, I'm going to give you a quick PSA. I am fully aware that just because we are looking at this from a spiritual perspective, that does not negate the struggles that people with schizophrenia have. So do not yell at me in the comments and misconstrue what I'm saying because it's getting old. All I want to do is see from a spiritual perspective what schizophrenia is and, you know, the rules in the 3D still apply, you know? So chill, chill. Ask yourself why you're getting triggered by a YouTube video. That that would be what I would have to ask you to ask yourself. But anyway, let's take a look. I know I sound so crabby. I'm not trying to be crabby, y'all. I swear I'm not. It's just like I can't make anybody happy. And it's just kind of getting to the point where I feel like Jenna Marvel's exit YouTube video where she was like, I'm just not having fun anymore. Like I'm getting to the point where reading YouTube comments are not as fun anymore. Um, and I get it, you know, we're in a very divisive time in, in, in humanity. And so everyone's getting triggered by everything and it's a nightmare, but I would like to have fun on YouTube. So let's, let's, let's try to bring back that energy. So let's get into the reading. All alleged and for entertainment purposes only. Zero facts here. Thank you to everybody that sits through 30 seconds of ads. It's a free and easy way to support my page if you're new here. Bestie, usually we have a good time. I just think that, you know, in this day and age, there are just certain things that unfortunately we're not going to be able to cover on this channel because I want us to stay as a unit. Let's be a family on this channel. That was my whole goal with this channel. So all alleged and for entertainment purposes only. Spirit guides, what is schizophrenia from a spiritual window? Now, they're reminding me of the download I got before. What I was seeing was like how what we would consider autism. It's like something doesn't fully get formed. And it's almost like what I got was like, it's almost like the soul has an agreement not to remember things, but it's almost like spiritual autism. It's like this window was supposed to be shut. It didn't get shut in time, and now it's open. Like, that's kind of the vibe so far. But all alleged, what is schizophrenia from a spiritual perspective that does not negate the 3D perspective? Okay. They can see through the veil. I said what I said. Yeah, the hermit card in reverse. The moon. They can see what we can't see. Yeah. 
what I'm getting is I'm being drawn back to some of the other woo woo readings. I don't remember which one specifically, but I saw what looked like a fence wrapped around the earth. And to me, that was like 4D. And in 4D, it's almost like what humans would consider like, um, fuck, limbo, I guess. But it's not really limbo. It's just another dimension. But it feels like there's another dimension. It feels like the 4D where it's like they can see through it. That being said, seeing doesn't mean touching. It doesn't mean feeling. It feels like they can see through a veil of some sort. And... I'm also being drawn to shapeshifters. Now, listen, we're not going to go woo-woo on this. But I feel like sometimes, depending on... Because what I'm hearing is trickery. And I'm seeing Seven of Swords in my mind's eye. I'm going to move this. This is annoying me. Hold on. So sorry. That's probably really annoying. Um, but what I'm hearing is like trickery. And I'm being drawn to the light. So, And then notice how the light's kind of next to his head here in this picture. So it's giving me this vibe of like... They will, because I'm being drawn to like how people are afraid of clowns. It's like, we don't mean any harm because technically, even if we did, there's nothing we can do. Um, but we're going to fuck with you because it, it, it feeds whatever this is. It's almost like they have a, a window into a dimension that we can't see. Because think about it, right? This is supposed to be like a whole rock. But for some reason in this card, there, there's something here that shouldn't be here. You see what I'm saying? So it's like... It's entities that they can see, but some of them are tricksters, so they'll play to your fears. But it, this is something I'm hearing from spirit, not today, this will probably be like decades, decades in the future, but eventually we are going to have an understanding on schizophrenia because for me, it feels like they are clairvoyant to a dimension that is kind of limbo. That's how it feels. The Empress. Look at all these major arcanas. Yeah, it's like you could see through the bullshit. With the Empress, it's like... Again, with all these lights, it's like... And I'm hearing the song, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. It's almost like something didn't... I almost wonder if they're supposed to develop this, but because... This might be like a future thing, not current. Because it's almost like we're supposed to understand what this is. Because I'm being drawn to how this woman's doing this research, which reminds me of my show Grimm, where they are reading what they call mythology. Well, what regular people call mythology, but they know it's not mythology. Because there's like one where there's like a person that turns into a wolf, stuff like that. Like that's kind of the vibe. Um, it's like... <sighs> Our ancestors knew how this shit worked. They didn't call it schizophrenia. It was like seeing beyond the veil. Anything else from these cards, Spirit? The Empress, Temperance in Reverse. Yeah, the fear comes from our education system and being told that, you know, spirit's not real, the other side's not real, you know... You, Catholicism, not to pull that out in particular, but that's a big one here in America where it's like, you know, the if you see shit, you're crazy. And so that's why what I think is, it's almost like there's, I wouldn't say fallen angels, but more like spirits that are kind of okay being stuck in limbo. It, it kind of gives me, if you've ever seen the movie that I mentioned all of the time, Free Guy, where there's this room where the bad guys can kind of like look at their stats and stuff. It's kind of giving me that. It's like, it's spirits that don't really feel like moving on. That's kind of the vibe too. It's spirits that don't really feel like moving on. They're pretty comfortable in this. It feels like a limbo. Um, and they kind of just like to fuck with people. The, you know what they remind me of? Gnats and mosquitoes. That's what it feels like. The energy feels like gnats and mosquitoes, but because we don't understand the other side, it terrifies us. But that's because it's been erased from history with the Queen of Swords in reverse, or Queen of Swords upright with Temperance in reverse. It's like we didn't want to start this over because with the Empress, that would empower the human race. We've gotten disconnected from our spiritual gifts. We all know this because we all have psychic gifts. It's not just me. There's no, I just followed the calling. You know what I mean? Um, but this is like, if we were not necessarily in the receiving energy. It's more like if we were more calm and flowing and like open, I guess, you know, 
instead of being cut off from the idea of what could be outside of us, it kind of reminds me of like people that have like a psychedelic trip. It's like you might be seeing shit that's real. It's just a different dimension. This reads to me like people that see it, the 4D. From the 3D with the Three of Cups. And it's almost like if they knew how to... If they knew to understand it, they could work with it to the point that it would be fun. If I'm being honest, like they could actually get certain spirits to work for them. Because it's almost like... the. Okay, I, I am being drawn to the Fae for some reason. I wonder if the Fae works on 4D because I just keep being drawn to the Fae. The Fae. Like, I don't know why, but maybe the Fae works on the 4D. Fairies, for those of you that don't understand that word. Uh, I know it. I hear what I'm saying, but I'm just, this is what I'm getting. And this is reminding me so much of my favorite show, Grimm, where it's like we're studying things that people call fiction, but it's actually real. But it's almost like we forgot ancestrally what this is which is why everybody's afraid when it either comes on or if you're born yeah because i just heard maybe you're born with it maybe it's maybelline <laughs> not sponsored and i'm not really a fan of them anyway but the star card in reverse but we're not seeing okay page of cups it's almost like stuck spirits that they're seeing. But the thing is, because it's a soul, it could shift what it looks like. So if it's a trickster spirit and it knows that you're afraid of, say, clowns, then it's going to shape shift into a vision of like, for instance, this is the only way I know how to describe it. When when you're a medium, for instance, like, I don't know, spirit, give me an example. I don't want to bring up my my passed on spouse yet, but um, like my cousin, for instance, she died suddenly and unexpectedly. That woman was in my room when she died. That being said, her body doesn't exist anymore. So she appears to me as who I knew. But that being said, that's not what she technically looks like because her soul is just light. Do you see what I'm saying? So there's something here about choreographing and, and curating what we want to look like. To kind of like get attention. It reminds me of like, you know, a seven-year-old that's like, hey, mom, but what about this? But hey, hey, hello, hey, hey. That's what it feels like. It doesn't feel malicious. It feels benevolent is the energy that I would say. Um, I think there's, I think it's stuck souls. It's souls that don't want to move on to wherever they have to go. And so they just kind of want to, it just reminds me of trickster spirits in like an old house. That's like, I just want attention. Yeah, I'm hearing Charlie Puth. You just want attention. That's the vibe here. And it's like, oh, you can see me. It reminds me of how, you know, every spiritual teacher ever <clears throat> is like, once you start to learn your gifts, make sure you know how to shield because you're going to also be attracted to negative energies. Like, that's the vibe here. Like, I feel like they're seeing spirits that are curating what they want to look like to either fuck with you or just be whatever they want to be. Yeah, I'm here. I know I can be what I want to be. Yeah, it's like there are souls that are stuck, especially with like Eight of Swords in Reverse is like victim of circumstance. But that being said, with that Ten of Pentacles, I feel a little stubborn energy here. So it's again, it's just like, I wonder if these are souls that like didn't really fully figure out how to move on. Maybe they didn't want to move on because it's just from I keep getting like images in my head of like little kids that like I don't want to go home and then they throw a temper tantrum like it's that vibe it's like we're having fun on this dimension so we're gonna stick around it's it's giving me like the show I'm watching right now legacies where um there's a place called limbo and all of the souls are there and they're just being angry and they're just walking around and, and living on their version of earth that's like simultaneously on top of our earth so it's like we coexist with other spirits, but some of us can see them and some of us can't. The people that are, I don't want to, I don't want to downplay what they're going through. I understand that that's got to be very terrifying because you're not being taught how this works. Um, but it just feels like spirits that want to fuck around and find out. That, that's kind of the vibe here, especially like, look at how on this Ten of Pentacles, again, even in this Ten of Pentacles, it's not about money. Look at how they're kind of dancing and there's a bubble here and we're seeing through the bubble. So it's like, you're seeing through the veil 
to something in the 4D. I don't feel like anything that's in the 4D can necessarily hurt you. That being said, worst case scenario, I could see them feeding off of any form of energy. Think of like a leech, right? So just like someone like Diddy, for instance, had that energetic siphon of negativity. It like, it will, there are certain entities on the 4D that can attach to you that could exacerbate the feelings you already have. Does that make sense? So like, say you're depressed and then you have schizophrenia and there's an entity that can sense that, it will heighten your fears or your depression for fun. Like I just heard for funsies. Like it just, they're benevolent, but they know how to siphon energy. And really all it is about is, it, like I'm hearing the song, girls just wanna have fun. I, f I truly feel like whatever's on this, they can't hurt you. Unless they're able to siphon enough energy, but I, I sincerely doubt it. Like, worst case scenario, I could see them fucking with lights because they're energy. But it's just people seeing through the veil. It's almost like the inner child never died with that page of cups in the reverse. But this kind of reminds me of, like, um, gifts that I might have pushed down, whether because my family didn't know or, you know, we're already too far gone in traditional. But that's kind of the vibe here where like eventually, whether it happens early on or later on, because they're reminding me of how I had a neighbor that just all of a sudden had schizophrenia out of nowhere. And it was around the time where all the astrologers were like, the veil's thinning. It's kind of giving me that vibe of like, they have it in their bloodline somewhere to see beyond the veil, but it's been lost for like, yeah, I'm hearing the song Remember Me for Centuries. So it's like it's been lost for centuries. And so they're turning it back on, but because there's no one to properly guide them, I kind of feel like in the future there's going to be people that guide people like this. Because this, because in the energy that I'm in, I'm like, this is not a, and listen, I'm not downplaying what happens in the 3D, but from a spiritual perspective, I'm in spirits energy and I'm like, this is not a, you're not broken. You're not, in fact, you're actually gifted, but the powers that be don't teach you how to work with it. Because honestly, I think that people with schizophrenia, listen, no one has to listen to this at all. They could tell me to piss off or just say nothing and be nice. But I feel like there's a way where people that have this, if they had like maybe, I don't know, someone who's a psychic medium, full blown, like further along than me, like helping them that does it for a living, they'd be able to master this. They'd be able to master their fears. They'd be able to talk to the other side. I even feel like they'd be able to fully talk to the other side if they were willing to kind of work with what they're dealing with. I'm not downplaying that this is probably terrifying. I'm not saying that it isn't. I'm just saying what I see. But there's something here where these people could go on to be psychic mediums themselves if they were to lean into it because it's like, the things that they're afraid of, it's actually like trickster spirits. Like it just, it really reminds me of like a seven year old that's just trying to cause problems because it's bored. Like, yeah, I'm hearing the song, I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Like that's the vibe. It's like they're on a different dimension and they try to get all of our attention, but whoever does get, you know, the sight, that's just who they kind of fixate on. That's kind of the vibe. Cause it's kind of like, pay attention to me, look at me, see me. That's the vibe. Yeah, as I drop the five of pentacles. I think these also could be, yeah, especially with the phoenix in reverse, because the phoenix is all about a rebirth. I'm shedding the old version of me to become a new. I mean, with the phoenix, it literally dies, turns to ashes, and then it's reborn. So again, going back to what I said, I feel like these are souls that just couldn't move on for one reason or another. I feel like there is a complexity of souls because they're drawing me to how Men in Black has a shit ton of different uh, alien species in it. So it's like, it's not just humans. There's human spirits. There's E.T. spirits, there's benevolent, be there's a whole bunch of shit on there. And these spirits are like stuck, whether per their ego, because they didn't want to let it go, or they're stuck because of shit that might have made them go cold. Because this is kind of remind me of like war times and stuff. So like, again, souls that didn't move on. Think of like haunted houses and stuff like that, especially with the Phoenix card in the reverse. If you're being, if you're dying and being reborn, that's kind of given reincarnation vibes, but it's in the reverse. So it's like, I'm forcing myself to stay stuck here and I want someone to play with me because I'm bored. Think of like if you died in your fit, your home that you spent all that money on, you put all that work into it, you died in the house and now you're stuck in it because you want to be, because you don't want to let go. You're like, it's my house. Think of like Beetlejuice, right? Like it's kind of given that type of vibe. It's like, I don't want to go. 
So I'm going to just fuck with the people that can see me. Yeah, because I'm being drawn to um, Ghost Whisperer where it's like, can you see us? It's like they just... They, they can't do anything. Yeah, I'm hearing the song, Can't Touch This. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, Five of Cups. It's like, whatever these beings are, because again, it feels like there's a wide range, but they're, they're not grieving. They're not evolving. They're not leveling up. And so instead of doing that, they just kind of fuck with people that can see them instead. But it's like, I'm in Spirit's Energy and it's like, back in the... Yeah, I'm hearing the song. Back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. Ahmed. Anyway, it's just giving this vibe of like way back in the day. We knew what this was about. We knew that this wasn't dangerous. We knew how to handle it. We knew basically it's giving me this vibe of like I set the intention that nothing of evil energy can come near me. What I'm seeing is like I'm seeing people in tribes and it's like this weird energy comes up to me and it looks scary and I just go like this and I'm like you're not welcome and then it turns its head down and it walks away it's reminding me of Monty Python if anyone's ever seen that where they yell at the sun and so the sun like drops its head and then walks away all sad that's the vibe it's like if you just tell them to piss off they will feed on the fear though so that's one thing I don't think that it'll like kill you but it will feed on your fear and it will feed on your depression. But that being said, if you change the energy, it'll feed on the happiness too. And it'll feed on your excitement. Because it's like, it really just gives me a vibe of like, I just want to be seen and acknowledged and played with. And I'm not willing to, especially with that Phoenix card, it's like I'm not willing to move on and transition. I think a lot of these are like earthbound spirits, can't move on, but don't. I really just feel like this would be limbo. It's the only way I know how to describe it. It feels like lim limbo. Yeah, nine of pentacles. I'm by myself. And it's almost like they like the reality that they have. It's like I'm, I'm still kind of human. It, it just kind of reminds me of like earthbound spirits. It's kind of the energy. But I do think that there are some entities that play um, to fuck with people's heads. But they're tricksters. It's not. It, I just keep hearing benevolent. They're not dangerous. And obviously, that doesn't discount how terrifying that is for people. I'm not downplaying that. I'm just simply saying from this energy, it's like you, if we had lived like 100 years ago or whenever the fuck this was more normal, you would just know to be like, hey, leave me alone. Bye. Like it's it's the same. Would you be terrified of a mosquito? I mean, there are some people that are, <laughs> but that's kind of the vibe in this energy. Yeah, it's almost like the powers that be with the Hierophant and the King of Wands in reverse I don't know if they burned books because I am seeing burning of books, but the leaders in play, it's like, we need to keep this whole, listen, I'm not here to divide anybody, but at this point, I got to admit that that's just kind of how my channel is at this point. It's like, we need to keep the religious structure in play so that it's like fear, worry about this. The only way through God is through your priest and that way we still have control. So it's like somewhere along the way, I think books were burned or they were turned into fiction or something like that because it's like the world's a lot more magical than we know it is. It's almost like you got fairies trying to talk to you. You got dead people trying to talk to you. You got trickster spirits that you don't even know what they are trying to talk to you. Like maybe it's a frog that got ran over and the frog's like, I'm not over that shit, bitch. Like I had a ways to go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's kind of the vibe. Um, it's souls that can't let go. And there's something here about, I don't know if they burned books. I keep seeing a burning of books. So I don't know if that's literal. And then my alarm's going off. That's about right. <laughs> Right, because I have class on top of everything else, yay. Okay, anyway. I think that's really it. Honestly, it just feels like they're they're stuck spirits. But anything else, spirit, before I wrap this up? Yeah, especially with king and queen of wands both reversed. Think about that. That's like wands think energy, right? If we If those were upright, then it'd be like queen and king going together. So, um... Spirit, help me. It's like yin-yang energy. When we can balance our masculine and feminine energy together, we know ourselves better, and then we can understand the world around us better. And because whatever may be intentional, maybe not, the powers that be having us disconnect from our intuition, that's why we don't understand what this is anymore. Remember what this is anymore. This is also reminding me of like ancestor energy, because look at how she looks like she's like a goddess. So it's kind of giving me this vibe of like our ancestors. Like I'm even being drawn to Egypt. 
our ancestors knew how to work with this because they knew that it's it's giving me like we talk to all forms of life. I've talked to them around the fire and we just don't understand that anymore because they've convinced us all that it's not real. Like I would ask you guys to look at like a lot of mythology because I almost wonder if most mythology has an origin point that's true. What is this? Queen of Pentacles? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah, ousted, but the devil card in the reverse. It's like, I think there are some spirits here that just couldn't move on. And so they stay there. And then I think there's other spirits that are from other dimensions that kind of just go there to have fun. But with the devil card in the reverse, again, it just doesn't feel like they can actually hurt anybody. I feel like schizophrenics are just people that see through the veil, but don't have the tools necessary because the tools that they needed were wiped out of existence a long time ago. Allegedly, and for entertainment purposes only. As I talk about the Six of Swords. And look how this kind of looks like uh, the parting of the sea. You know, that religion thing. So again, this feels like in biblical times or times prior to what we're in today. Our ancestors knew about this. But because this this was reversed, right? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Six of Swords. It, it's like... I, I'm hearing those that don't know history are doomed to repeat it. So it's like, that's why we don't know. Judgment in reverse is like what's hidden from the public. It's like I just said that. Six of cups in the reverse. Those that don't know history are doomed to repeat it. Yeah, our our ancestors knew exactly how they worked. I feel like this is just them seeing beyond the veil. And it sucks because in this energy, I'm like, this is, again, I, I'm not playing down how hard it must be for people that have this. But it's almost like, I feel like back in the day, there was like a group of individuals that knew how to work with people like this to help them use it to their benefit, not as a thing that scared the life out of them so that they're locked up forever. You know what I mean? It's, it's a gift. And it's like back in the day, we used to hone this gift. It's almost like, like I see people around the fire, like bringing people from the other side and it's like, okay, why are you bothering me? What's really going on? It's almost like, like they're giving me an example. I'm sitting around a fire and then this spirit comes out and it looks really scary. And I'm like, um, I know that you're not that. So what's really going on? And then this dissolves and then a person shows up. It's reminding me of Scooby-Doo when the bad guy, they take off the mask and it's their neighbor, Henry from across the street. That's kind of the vibe. It's like our ancestors knew that nothing could hurt us. So we used to be able to see, and then we'd be like, all right, quit the shit, what's going on? And then it would be Henry from 1564 that can't get over his ex-wife, and now we're helping him cross over, and he's gotten rid of that negative energy. It's almost like, at one point, we saw this as an opportunity to help beings cross on. Now we see it as a mental health disorder. That's kind of the vibe. All legend and fairness and purposes only, no facts here. All right, back in the... Yeah, Ace of Wands is like, Especially with it being reversed, it's like we used to know how to work with this energy, but with it being reversed, it's almost like it's been held from us. So that, again, fear, right? We, If we fear death and we want to live and then we'll work jobs we don't want to work and we'll date people that we don't want to be with, you know what I mean? So it's like it didn't benefit whatever power structure came in and wiped this out because I just keep seeing books being burned. I feel like people knew what this was. What is this? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. This is all about birthing of new. Before of Cups, we've been detached from it. Why? They don't want us to know. Are we shocked? Like, I'm not. Ace of Wands being on the back deck means if we knew the power. I mean, look, there's a witch on this. If we knew the power that these people have, they'd be able to talk to the other side. In fact, I could see them being like working through this because it's so this is remind me of like one dimension it's like i work through this dimension and i've accepted that i can see spirit and now i can see my past on loved ones that aren't even stuck because i've accepted that this is true but it's almost giving me like you know how i haven't done it i've only micro but you know how people will like take a psychedelic trip but they need someone next to them to make sure they're safe that's kind of the vibe it's like if people could go back to what we used to know but i feel like there's no books around anymore or it's like a mythology book at this point because four of cups we've since detached ace of pentacles and ace of wands it's like we can work with this to our benefit we can empower ourselves it's almost like you can send healing energy to them and tell them to go away don't be fearful you could empower yourself and it's like you'd be breaking the veil so that you could break into other veils too it's like you accepting that these things are real but they can't touch you, but real, 
helps you be able to see other dimensions as well. So I'm going to leave it here. I don't know what you guys thought about that. Yeah, look, Hangman in the reverse is like seeing things from a different perspective. But Knight of Wands, we have to be brave. You know what I mean? That's kind of the vibe. It's like being brave will help you understand that this is not... Yeah, Seven of Wands fighting. You know what I mean? And look at all this Egyptian energy. So it's like in the past, we knew what this was. Because I... Like my... Whoever the fuck's talking to me right now. Yeah, look at this. Ten of Swords in reverse with the sun. It's like it used to be something we all knew. Look at how he's talking to his kid on the sun card. It's like, this is how energy works, son. This is what the veil and this is how life force energy. Like, that's the vibe. It's like, we used to know this. But Ten of Swords in the reverse, it didn't help where we were headed. In It's almost like industrially speaking. It's like, the more we have to be in the 3D, the less we see into other dimensions. Does that make sense? So I feel like we lost this at a time where we were more focused on like labor, agricultural stuff, um, building up a system, a city and stuff like that. But there was a time where this was pretty normal, where we were just talking to spirits right next to the fire. Yeah, I'm hearing the song, your grandma and my grandma sits in by the fire. This was, this was a normal thing back in the day. Yeah, look at this. Lover's card upright with Ten of Wands reversed. It's like we used to know that this wasn't a bad thing. This was just us being in alignment. Remember how I was saying King and, King, ah, King and Queen of Wands? The Lovers is us being comfortably blended between our masculine and feminine energies. But we don't really prioritize that nowadays. And so that's why we don't understand. And so that's why all these tens are here too. Because it's like if we were to lean into it, we could empower a lot of these people. Because it's in this energy, I'm like, they're not broken. They're just uneducated. That's that's the vibe. It's like, I almost wonder if there was like a school. But it wouldn't be your version of school. It would be like a tribal. Like what I'm seeing is like tribes and houses but they're made out of like maybe bamboo or sticks or something like that's the vibe and it's like we're using our lanterns so we definitely didn't have technology but then at the same time it was like we knew that we could talk to the dead there was no we knew that the veil didn't matter it was like we talked to our ancestors like once a year to send thanks like that's the vibe um but then we got disconnected so we thought that it was evil um it feels like it's a mixture of souls that are bound because they can't let go of shit as well as entities that are more benevolent and trickstery i would say that the worst energy is some of the tricksters can pull your energy they can feed off of your fear but the moment i said that i heard fear is false evidence appearing real so it's more of an energy thing than anything else like it'll terrify you but at the end of the day like i don't i don't think i've heard any stories where schizophrenics were murdered by spirits you know what i mean so um, I'm not trying to downplay that that is a very scary reality that I personally would not want. I mean, I get to choose on my end, but what I'm saying is there was once a time where there was like, it's giving like Buddhist monk leaders or something like that, where we had someone in the tribe that would help whoever this person would be tap into what they considered their gifts, not a mental health disorder. But I understand that we live in different times. So I'm going to leave that alone. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. I would love to do more videos like this. But I don't know if people are going to be into it. So let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this. And I love you guys so much. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you guys sometime next week. And to people waiting on readings, my energy is starting to get a little bit better. So I'm thinking next week I should be back up. If you want to book a personal reading with me, um... You have to email me to join the wait list, but you're seeing this in the future. Check out my website first, but I'm going to leave it here. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and I will see you guys in my next video.